the world is at war, or at least the Mediterranean Greek world. As you can see, yes, we're at war with Phrygia, but I'm on the side of the Egyptians, in which, you know, ideally, my goodness, they got lots of light cavalry, no shortage of heavy infantry there, lots of, plenty of heavy cavalry, so as camels, no shortage of archers either. But the problem with all this is, is that I can't really commit to almost all the conflicts out there. Because I already have interest in Carthage. I mean, we were preparing for Carthage. We were training to fight against Carthage. We can't go east. We can in, in the naval range of things, even as far as the Bosporus. But, no not willing to def help out our Egyptian ally, knowing that they have been beaten by Phrygia time and time again. And this is the result is probably going to be no different. Because they're short on manpower, they do not. Because who the hell are they? Luckily, most of the Antigonid family aren't really skilled. Well, a very disloyal man. If only we were had uh, time to befriend him. I mean, he may be a pretender, but hey, that's just an interesting case. No. Remember, our focus now is Carthage. Remember, in this war, we're going to start it by... I mean, this is them. If we want to control all the Sardinia, that means them too. So we call upon Bosporan Kingdom, Rhodes, Zanetia, Saranaica, Sebustia. Probably not Egypt because they're in war with Phrygia. They won't go for it unless they give us the call arms option. But I know for a fact they may have ended us. So let's let's go with it. Carthage and Rodera will be with. So in the technical sense, it is the Greco-Punic Wars. So yes, they join us, not Egypt, because they did not honor this request. There'll be more possible defenders. And now trying to get them on our side is impossible. So quit improving relations. Anyways, I guess the, we could safely assume it expired. The invasion begins by capturing this port, and we will land the troops to set port and start making, start working our way up there. There's two fortifications to take. Three, in fact, if you want to include this one. Stop drilling and start moving. We'll be right behind you. Do not worry. Saranaika is here. Sort of. But the ships need to be fixed first before we can get them to move again. You could say we fired the first shots of taking this. Even though our far away allies of Bosporan Kingdom and Rhodes, they can contribute, but they'll have to go port by port to keep their ships fixed and travel and contribute to the eventual naval battle with the best that the Carthaginian fleet has to offer. 
They outnumber us ships by 30, but I believe the allies that would come in would probably help us out. So I'm very much committed to this front. But remember, Sardinia is the primary objective. Cartago is secondary objective. Taking over Cartago would definitely hurt their economy. But, of course, they got way more cities further along the North African coast you go. So many ports and lots of open territory. Carthage is not only fighting against us, but the Romans as well. Which they're losing because they failed to take the relevant objective up there. Originally, we were going to go to war with Rome. Carthage jumped, uh, jumped ahead on trying to get this territory. And as we were making final preparations, then Phrygia declared war against Egypt. And we were left with a dilemma. And I've decided to Carthage, to Sardinia. We have no choice. I mean, there is, it's just... It's already complex as it is. Hi, get moving. We cannot afford any delays for troop movements. It'll take a few months to get these ships fixed and then ready to sail and fight against the Carthaginian Navy. Very likely that our side will win. Well, they're on the move. They have 21 to 22, but we got a better general than theirs. This is why you must support. We can't afford delays like this. At least he's got the discipline. Willing to risk the political influence for more discipline. Says that it will likely win. Even though their terrain's to the benefit. These damn pirates are at it again. Boy, we're keeping a few armies in reserve in case of counter invasions. Axum is there, but that's for the Phrygian front. The Cyrenaican navy's on their way. Hope you don't get too much trouble back home. You're a stratocratic monarchy now, I didn't know. No, that makes it better. Military intensive. in a few days, so let's slow it down and focus on what goes on there. We caught him, but we chose a bad tactic for this. The bottleneck is not the order of the day. They chose the skirmishing. Chase them down. Okay. Yeah, that's bad. Best one to go against that would be skirmishing, but that would be very little. Just go with phalanx. You know, you're just as much with the heavy infantry. Maneuver, maneuver. I better same. I'll just leave it. This is what we call Hopley Tech Force. So we got him on a run. They want to chase him down. Eliminating their army from circulation would be good. Oh, they got more. They're going to their friends. Get up here. We 
cannot flank around. You have to get rid of these two forts. In the meantime, keep doing what you do. Even if you have to enslave the populace, which is going to be a common occurrence, unfortunately. They're probably going to go to this end of Sardinia. I did not expect more reinforcements to be committed to this front. But if they're going down this way, good. This is our stronger army. With elephants. And got no time to spend money for more tech advances. Hey, Juba, what's going on? Oh, you're plotting quietly, I see. And you're not the healthiest because you've been through a lot for a man of your ripe old age. Three more months and you shall set sail again. Still a far cry from a civil war. At least you got a good admiral. Why that way? wanted to engage him, we would likely win. Is that so? I don't know about that. Engage him here and now? This is a good idea. Ships are not probably fixed. Stay here. Don't want them to come in damage like that. I mean, it's only two of our heavy ships that are damaged. Going up there would be suicide at this point. So we can't get more reinforcements to the Sardinian front. But at least they don't have any troops in this one. What they have in transport. All that? Turn around. And since they're going that way, maybe we can trap them here. up of what you're doing. Just in case. Silence. These guys have no combat experience on any of them. But we can easily beat them. Unfortunately, you're suffering from the gout, which, which will likely win regardless. It's got bad morale. I made the right call based on what happened on the northern front. Fighting on hills. Penalty on the attacker. Made. They're coming up to you, so have fun with them. 
continue to muck up here before we move on to the fort. One more month and these ships will be ready to sail. And then we'll search and destroy the Carthaginian fleet. My dear gods, look at them. If they could take Andros, they can take Crete. With those kind of numbers. Look. Uh -huh. They don't care about supply limits. They got all the manpower that they can afford. And there's the Romans over there. In the Atlantic Ocean. They're an ally of Carthage. So this female admiral has won the thing. Mind you. Iberians and uh, it's the other culture that lives over there. And Pertanis. They're the only ones that are allowed to have female commanders, at least as far as to my knowledge. If you don't have mixed gender rules on, I don't. Nothing against it, it's just, well, it's a habit. And that's why zone of control. There they are again. These guys are probably gonna go on a... Probably gonna go pick up their guys. Don't get out of the port for God's sakes! They want you to... I mean, if we can move in on them, then uh, Sir and I could, play, could assist us. I mean, they're sailing upwards, so don't you leave port! Okay, this weekend, ships are repaired and ready. Let's go! gonna be fun. Come to us. Come on. Son is born. Passed away while it's born. Oh man. Still born. Sad. Never thought that would happen. Again, if we don't destroy their navy, we're going to be separated from the homeland. But they're on their way. Friendly ships will be coming. And they're going to try to brave the storms while doing this. Hopefully this pays off. Will assist us. Ok, 
indicates is that we might win, but again, we have heavy ships. We're slower. They're faster. It's just we gotta catch them somewhere. But I believe the best place to catch them is when we leave port. It's faster. Chase them all the way there if necessary. Just tell them to keep away. And let's do find an engagement and the Allied navies will come and assist us. At least I hope, in theory. Now they chose boarding instead of ramming as they were earlier. Escape chase <laughs> them. I know they're trying to get home, but um we're just gonna keep you know, just on the back off, back off. Faster one to go there. I got a prisoner. Their army's taken out. Their war is over. Don't move. <laughs> They're gonna be coming soon. Is there really a time to have another admiral? Purpose is to catch them while they're going that way. Wait, I got an idea. that because of the morale well, I think the splitting navies may may not be good look let's just pretend they go that way but in actuality they're gonna be right running right into us you know half of the Navy doesn't even have the full morale yet that might be a handicap Likely our win, and it's going to be heading to a defensive side for here. I know what I'm trying to do, and I hope this uh, plan works. Okay, let's start on June 8th. Stop. Start again. Movement locked. Stop moving. Morale is full. We're ready. Saranaika may assist us. They're not too far from here, but we're all on our, we're all on our own. Any more ships will come here if they notice of what we're up to. So this is it. Naval battle we have been waiting for most of the episodes. It's Chalabes or 
Telebus is an Iberian. And he, uh, that's his religion. But he's Punic. Punic man who is confident. He's also, although so he's pretty charismatic. But however, he's a bit depressed. But he's energetic, confident and energetic, and he's going for boarding tactics. While our uh, man Juba, who is a Punic Canaanite, so pure Punic, which he's a bit. Uh, plotting a bit quietly, because he's got something of a sleeve. No. Oh. But whatever he's plotting is irrelevant. Now we may have to spend a bit of money to compensate our losses, which I will figure out what those losses will be. But I ain't gonna hold a charm for you because... Despite our really good stability, but the sacrifices are gone. But you can get more of those if you want to. But remember, our fleet has a higher morale than theirs. Ours is a better quality, especially there with 50 more of these operators. And trains are a benefit because this is a defensive naval battle on our end. I don't know about the morale, but. What we do know is that they'll be coming with this number of ships. But remember, if we can defeat the Carthaginian fleet at the most, then it'll be our sea, and we can reinforce our troops anywhere where we can. Even if we send them back to Carthage, they're going to have to go through a storm, but I think the storm will be gone before then. We're outnumbered, but... I believe we can do it. So, here it is. Nowhere to go now. Let it begin. Oh no! They went with frontal assault. It's harassment. That's not gonna work. So this is going to be quite a struggle. Will our heavy ships defeat theirs, and how many ships will both sides capture? But if the tactics are going to cost us, then, um, then they are. Uh, the die roll from this phase, he got three, Juba's got six, and all the modifier from Marshall Vada's commanding leader compared to the opponent's commanding leader. So we have a slight effect. That is on both sides. They put the grenades on the flanks, so we got firings on our flanks. Remember, these are the current ships uh, fighting. Not the veterans uh, fighting and trying fighting. We got many more ships in reserve. You just wait till we bring up the big one. There's mainly uh, the Bernians on point. Veterans front. They got many more in reserve. They outnumber us, but we've got the better weapon. Check back in a moment. What's going on on the Sardinian front? Ah, oh, you're beginning your siege. Engage. We'll follow you soon. You can get rid of their army. Back to the navy. Four and four. Those are trying. There goes there in the Brennan. There goes our center again. They're taking out a good portion of their ships. So far, so good. Now they're going after the big ones. But our ships are getting crippled. Oh, we're chasing them out of there. In this case, head to that. Now. 
Now we're starting to bring our big ships to the front. Octaris. Again, that may cost us. Many of our ships are fleeing. Fighting out there now. Rock carries are can take them on, but no, 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 no. We'll lose this one. Get back out of here. Get out of here. They lost 31. We lost 44. But we'll be coming home with uh, capturing eight Liberians. 14 territories, which will compensate our losses. Uh, we gained some hexaries, but we lost a lot of octaries. Oh, they captured them. Um... Oh, again, we sunk a, a lot of them. No, 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 no. You're incorrect. You just don't do math, everyone. But again, it's just we picked a bad tactic. So if you want to counter frontal assault, go for close ranks. And get us more ships. It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And a lot more uh, triremes. This is going to take a long time, you know. The amount of ships you are ordering before we can go out to the naval front again. Where were our allies in all this? He slipped by and he did not want to fight the Carthaginian Navy. And yet they come out stronger. That's what's hard about taking them on. They even got one of our heavy ships, which it'll at least slow them down a little. This time we'll remain at home port. So, oh, sorry boys, you're on your own. Maybe. They fired some mercenaries. Well, they do have the money to maintain all that. And those bastards got away again. Go after those mercenaries, their morale's very low. Don't let them regroup. Second, friendly navies operate at limited range. So yeah, they win that day, but Sardinia will be ours. We'll be back. Gonna be on a collision course with the mercenaries. Luckily, with their lowered morale and using force march, <laughs> that's a major flaw on their part. We're gonna get you. Quick 
definitely gonna get him now. Would have rather had him ship to uh, Croton. You know, it's, it's faster that way to get more ships through there. Oh, damn it. There aren't going to be much left of them. After this war, we're going to have to break an alliance with them. All over there in the other Iberian front. Seems they're doing well. Especially going up against this Carthaginian garrison there. At Saltesia Manoris. So, it, in the Sardinian front, it's fine. Navy, we still can't beat them. Only because we had a bad tactic. But then again, Carthaginian ships are more resilient than ours. They know their stuff. Well, here to Carthage has the best navy in the Mediterranean. While Phrygia could be close second, while we're basically trying to catch up. We're coming. Don't you worry. And it seems they're starving their troops out. Just surrender. I know it's going to take years to get our navy back in the the shape that we were, but no. But uh, it's nice that to see the Bosporan Kingdom is sending their troops their way, but uh, you're too little, too late. Go after them. Stop here. Take our armies to um, Carthage very, very soon. I got many more where we're ready and waiting. Oh, yeah, they're running out of there. Osprey Navy on their way. Need more money. This place has fallen. Now we got them surrounded. You should give that territory to me. You know I'm going after that. Saint, this isn't your war. Last stand. They thought better, but not enough. Not all of them. There's more. Uh, which one of you has the smallest number? You stay here. Take this area. And all of Sardinia will be under our control. And 
where's their fleet? Oh, now they got a. Oh, these are mercenaries. The Admiral's back in Carthage, fixing his fleet. While I'm fixing to get the hell out of here. these friendly ships here, I guess blockading Carthage would be the next move, but gotta go pick up um, the others. Since I don't think they'll send their forces on our mainland. While those who are in the Sardinian front may have to stay here. Deal with the rest of the stragglers. Head to Austria for the time being while you get them fixed. Again, we had to withdraw because nobody else was willing to fight. Retreat again. Keep moving. They want to take it easy with the force marching. This is where they think this is where they hold them, but this is where they die. So at least of my worries. We're only killing these guys, none of the Carthaginian ones. Because they withdrew. out that Carthaginian army in the Sardinian. And we captured that general. Minor character, not from a prominent family. It's nice to see the combined fleets over there. But, come on, man. Frigio's making gains. Spots are, why haven't they completed their war goal? Guess they're not going for that area. They want more of the Delta. Possibly to Memphis, into their capital. Unfortunate victim was slander, that's what we say about him. It was a questionable trial. Again, destroy all remaining resistance in Sardinia. No oh, way. Thanks to the fort, this points one. Killed them all. Not 
not going to get away from us. Should be heading for Carthage itself. I don't think their navy's going to be moving up, especially in a storm like that. No, they haven't left port. Which means blockade will be likely. They may have got off that easy with the naval victory, but... Don't you worry, we'll be coming in stronger. They won't send... Their transports to Sardinia. So the Sardinian front is almost complete. So just remain to your south. Well, we'll be sending um, two armies. Both of them to commit to the uh, Carthaginian siege. More on the tower. Contributes to Marshall and Vanessa while I contribute charisma and zeal. Pretty good. Those are hard to kill, huh? Not finished with Carthage yet. Oh, hell! The Phrygian fleets are here. What the hell are they doing up here? Thought they would go for something like Crete or something. But we can fend off an invasion force of something of that size. All that. Even though I would have easily quit out this war and just call it white peace on our end. But they say no. Until 36 months have passed, which would be August of next year. No. We can't back out of that yet. And of course, if you back out of the war, that means you abandoned Egypt as an ally. Yeah, they're definitely coming. Got rid of them all. Sardinia is clear. these fronts. Now, uh, we'll still use this navy to blockade the, um, the Carthaginian capital, while we'll send, I guess we'll send these guys who succeeded in the Sardinian conflict, so. Ships all repaired? Almost all of them. Good enough. More will come in a short period of time. So, has the Soki. Risky, but we'll take it. While we may have unwelcome guests. Yep, they're definitely heading this way. Get ready. As we said we have some unwelcome guests around here. They're probably going to go for Akron. You are going to be the first to greet them. We'll support you behind. And then, 
Oh, they're on the move. Okay. Uh, head to this port instead. Stay there. We're gonna take out one of our ships. They didn't even have a chance to capture it. Where on earth are they going? The Carthaginian fleet's on the move. And so are we. Well, now we're putting up defenses here. One thing's for certain, at least the bridge in Armada's away from Egypt. But they can't really commit to all forces throughout Egypt. They, they do have the manpower, but not much in the way of cohorts. Suppose they didn't go for Crete instead, they wanted to take it to home. Take it to our backyard. What the hell kind of who the hell do they think they are? Rome's called for peace. So they were able to retain their area while uh, they mainly focused against us now. Bridges on a civil war. Okay, let me see the relevant characters. Is their admiral disloyal? I see a bunch of governors. Their admiral's not disloyal, but I can inspire disloyalty to further contribute to this. 15% threshold. Ah, negative stability. That would be beneficial if they go on a civil war. And should the rebels win, maybe all the subjects can break out. I don't know how it works. Huh? I mean, some of the subjects may side with the loyalists, some side will side with the rebels. Might be some good news out of this, after all. Despite the obvious danger of a superpower of the region. Well, meanwhile, the naval superpower still um, rose and sails unopposed. Barbarians, a few clan retinues. Seems they're doing all right. But if they want Sardinia back, come take it. Just wait a few. If they move, I mean, if we move, they move. Maris Sardinia, they're near. Yes, they're near. If we can get them over here, then they'll help us out. And this time we're choosing the right tactic to deal with a frontal assault of theirs. What if they went to drop off troops and then they marched to Massalia? 
I mean, they're going to have to ask access to many a nation. But don't go out to sea yet. Because I want to know what Phrygia is up to. I do not like it one bit. Either that or, um... They've got a... A rogue admiral, if he's... No, no he's not a disloyal character. Whatever's going on. There might be a huge civil war against Phrygia, which will be to Egypt's benefit. And mine to soothe my worries. But I still have my intentions of taking Carthage as a secondary objective. They don't have the money like they used to. This time they'll have to rely on their actual forces. They committed most of their armies to this front, thus we will lose our ally. Think. They've returned to Carthage for now. Where did the Egyptian fleet go? Oh no, they're still here. They're still with us. Which we may need them once the naval engagement begins. Well, boys. You're coming here. No, oh, actually, no, no, no. It's good defense for Sardinia. You're coming up here instead. Faster! Stay on the south. She's got to get her two armies aboard on this uh, fleet, and then set sail to Carthage, risking our navy for this. Well, plenty more ships will be coming, three at a time. But we'll still be using boarding tactics, and we're trying to get all these ships back again. Minus one, thanks to Phrygia. Why is Phrygia over there? They're not involved in any other wars. But they're on the verge of a civil war in more than a year. A year and three months. That'll be August of next year. Alright, they're all here. Get on board. The food is served and everything. Food is served. Yeah, they got good food capacity. We're not using up. They still produce good food here. Another reason to have the island. We'll come pick you up later, if as long as we're not a, as long as we're not opposed with the uh, blockade. Actually, it would be idea to go pick up all three armies. I mean, they're not transporting anybody to Sardinia as of yet. Whereas we're paranoid on where is the Phrygian fleet. The best admiral is in. He's in the Adriatic somewhere. Yep, he's awaiting. Somewhere in the Adriatic is this mean, scary fleet. <laughs> Come up here too. We're not going to leave without to. Because if we try to leave, then Carthaginian fleets will make their move and engage us here. I don't know why you're attached to us. No, not the mercenaries. Talking about Saranaika. I guess Saranaika and Bosman will hold Sardinia for us. It's what we assume. 
Well, more and more friendly fleets will be coming, so I think I'm confident. <gasps> Juba! Here goes our best admiral. Who can replace him? I mean, all the good ones are used. Hell, how loyal is the, uh... He's 11. Theirs is an 11. He's got plenty of loyal cohorts. And he's got diphtheria. Mm. No, no, no. Blast. Well, start looking. Start looking for potential recruits. But they all hold their offices. But you would have to befriend them first. Unless you want to take a disloyal navy. Yeah, but, um... Problem. He has to not be a general. That area was the subject, and they integrated. Hey, you got somebody that you're not using? Valerians? Again, I'm looking for at least 13. And Hellenic. Even then, this may seem like a crazy person thing to do, but why don't you look somebody from in the country? I mean, you know who they are, but they ain't joining. Now I don't understand. A researcher. He's in mourning. Fallen from grace. But again, you'll be spending state funds for this. If you're going to be investing in a man like him. Well, why not somebody like Suzo? Remember him. Remember his name. Attack bonus of uh, Celia. Anybody within range? Not them either. Well, how about the Greek city states? Including one who has not. We'll talk later. It might be our ticket way in. Have you as a feudatory soon. Anyways, so um, I'm looking for a good man. Researcher. Brave or not. We found our man, Diomedes. Fighting in the arena, you crazy person. We're gonna invite you in. Boy, Arcadian. We're getting an Arcadian man. There's the Phrygian fleet. Starting our troops out. We don't know who they are. Who's that's this? Sesapis, number nine. Sesapis, Sesapis. Um, uh, Cilician. But he's not disloyal. I thought it was like this is their lesson of teaching a disloyal man. Wretch, you abused our hospitality for too long. Sorry about this. Subject transfer. This time you pay tribute to us, because you need to help with the economy a little. 
Yeah, get them off of the Carthaginian sphere of influence. So it worked. It worked. But they're not allies, mind you. And we can't make them as such one day. <laughs> Never thought it would pay off. And who are the other the soil subjects that we may have to get them on our side? Massilia. Well, we're getting there. Not gonna make it unless I send him a gift. But I think the aggressive expansion that we will soon recruit a new admiral. We're not moving our fleet out yet. It's gonna have to wait a little longer. Because we're not going out without effective admiral. Especially who's an ore master who can get these ships moving fast. We can catch the Carthaginian fleet. While well, meanwhile, allies gather their fleets in the Kragas. They'll be ready when the moment is right. Don't take so much food, damn it! It ought to help leave it a bit. Speed up a little. Since nothing's really happening. Population simulation speed fast. Spend more political influence, unfortunately. Our ally over in Iberia is doing alright. City games in Taurus. That's for three years. Nah, it'll probably find just no effect. Diogenes Fallen. Crap. He was one of the good ones. There goes our Admiral. There goes another one of the good generals, even though he was residing in the mainland. So what about you? Tiberius Sextilius. He's a Sabellian. Not a Roman. He's the one that's committed for home defense. This should work. We didn't have to spend any money on that, getting that man. Uh oh. Incoming. If they dare. Okay, we don't have to worry about Phrygia, but... Quick! Get the pizza! To your positions! You're coming! Welcome! And we shall grant you citizenship status. You'll be more loyal. But I'd be less popular, obviously. You are now the new Admiral. Of the fleet. Because you are brave and you're an ore master. So he just knows how to squeeze every last ounce of energy out of a rowdy team of oarsmen. And you have to wait a little while. We've got a few more ships coming in and then. And that'll be the last of them. Guess we'll stay with it. Whatever leaves the economy, but having Sardinia and Carthage itself will definitely leave it. There goes another good guy. He's the best of the land generals. No cowards here, but we have a crafty man. We'll use our numbers against them then. The 
kept going for Stalia. Give them a welcoming reception. We'll be there for you. Yep, they're doing exactly. Spend a little. Lots of stability. Alright, with them going away, this is probably our opportunity to catch them, but... I don't know. We can eliminate their army out of our land, but... I would rather blockade them so that way our United Navy can def definitely beat them. They're in for a rude awakening. We got them. Development. Got the discipline. Finish them off if you can. Nice one. And stay out. I mean, we can't really go over there. Unless you've been giving them access. Yes, you did. Hey. Bastards. But then again, we have a cast spell against them. Well then, as long as they don't come back here again. Then we should be alright. Pull them around now. But are we willing to gamble for all of this again? I mean, we didn't win last time, but... We're gonna risk it. Wait a minute, what the hell did you just do? You merged all the armies again. You're not supposed to do that! This army. Well, most of it. Who was in command of that army? Forgotten. But, hey, archers, I have at your discipline, so I guess you'll take it. I mean, you would know the guy, he, he was the one with that army. So this one will... You get past supply train and then... This will be transferred. There's three armies, right? And this was 16,000 strong. Oh, we gotta have this sorted out once we're done all this. Hippostatos. But anyways, you'll be running this one. I recall there's one more horse archer, so... God damn it. There you go, you got it all sorted out. Allegedly. Again, we're just moving them just to make sure who's who. Oh, and these elephants. I think the elephants were...
Whose elephants are these? It was status. But this well, it was Hippostatus' army. No, not Ariana's design. You are Hippostatus. Ah, oh, these are your elephants, okay. And these are your archers. These are just much okay, we'll have this sorted out once we anyway. Now the original order was to get on these ships. Stop screwing around one at a time. But at least we replace one of the Jones with a more slightly better one. Now get them out of here quickly. You can sail faster. Get to Carthage now. This is our opportunity. Race to Carthage. They're probably going to capture this ship, but this isn't exactly a delaying action. It's just one day. They didn't capture it, they just, just sunk it. It's twice that it's happened. God, I hope you better all move now. Except you're all turning back. Well, well, Zibuzi is doing whatever the hell they're doing. Meanwhile, in Egypt, they're going down the Nile. And the rest of the Phrygian troops, uh, they committed themselves into this front. Instead of ours, you know. Which is fine by me. Come on, roll faster, man. They're gaining on us. They're trying to go home, but we'll prevent them from doing so. Okay. Land them all here. And then split up from there. Only one will besiege Carthage. Which one of you is not moving? Oh, just... <sighs> Mission accomplished! We're able to get them all on board. They'll have to go somewhere else. He's imminent, so you need to get to Carthage now. Okay, now get away from here. We'll come back for you. So to us, to us. So we can keep them busy. There's enough for all of us, actually. We'll definitely overrun their fort at this rate. Are they going to back to Cottage? No. They're probably going to go pick up their guys. Bring them back to Sardinia, I think. Oh, then again, we outnumber them. Slightly. I mean, blockading the enemy ports would be beneficial to the economy. Cartago. 
That's the secondary objective. This whole area. Possibly a little more. They haven't bothered building more ships. But if they think about going that way, they're going to be into a storm. So let's just stay here, blockade, and get some money out of it. Not to mention a lot of slaves be coming. And we're taking their food too. Damn pirates. At it again. Again, you got nine hundred days. Should be over soon. And split from there. We got it. Carthage pillaged. After the siege, uh, Hippostratus Leotid let his troops run riot, resulting in murder, rape, and theft. Uh, the wealth that Hippostratus has gained from this evil act is beyond compare, and our advice suggests he's now one of the richest people in our land. Even as our just previously resident Carthage are flocking to join Hippostratus. Despite his power play, properly reclaimed, I should consider punishing him for his dastardly action. Gets more light of the No, let it go. Not to mention you're gonna be loyal to him. And seven populations died. It's still a metropolis. But there could be more than that. There's more where that came from. If you go north, you go this way. Head to down. Don't know what was that about? Probably change of hands of the region. Ah, they went to Massalia, of course they would. There's their ships. Including one heavy ship that they catch from ours. Shit! That's a damn... That's a mercenary. Born up, born up. May want to get reinforcements. Head to Ostia. Go pick up these guys. It's just paranoia kicking in. Best resistance they could come up with. Go. We have the advantage. They're putting up a fight, but we have the numbers.
Oh, I just noticed something else. Hang on. After the battle. Phrygia. Phrygian revolt. Civil war has erupted. It's almost that blue Macedon color I haven't seen in a while. Not like that. Autocratic monarchy, aristocratic. That's the difference. So far, after five years, now the war enthusiasm is going down because they failed to take the war goal, which they didn't even bother. But now Phrygia is in revolt. They got this amount of manpower with this many cohorts. Not a lot of money to afford them. Whereas I think they can handle that on both fronts. Even Alexandria itself has been revolted. And there's some of the rebel armies. Royalist armies still down the Nile. Yes, the revolt began some time ago. I did say August. So I did. Just wasn't paying attention as we were focused on the Carthaginian front. Oh, there they are. It's the Carthaginian fleet. Just what we're looking for. Get in here. This is going to be our opportunity to, you know, to catch them. Remember, we still need a bit more of this wide region land. Try to catch up with you so we can get our allied navies. Now they're calling for peace? No. I'll call for peace when I say so. No. We got a lot of time in our hands. Time's on our side. Okay. Learn their tank. So they chose. Naval envelopment. What's a good counter against naval probing attack? Very well. Back to what we knew best. Going after our ally and the friends. Now they're going down this way. It could go as far south as this one. City states will take a little heart to take. You may have to ignore them. Yeah, another tributary. Carthage loses the Numidians. Now they're part of under our sphere of influence. Because soon we won't have this land to ourselves. They keep, but they'll provide us with income. Level three, four. Yeah, we're definitely not taking those. We're just sending our army over there to uh, support them. While we hunt and destroy the Carthaginian fleet. And I hope the Egypt can be relieved a little. Now that Phrygia is in revolt. At least for now. Unfortunately that also includes Epirus, which is a, one of the areas I plan on entering to. But they're recruiting new cohorts. They're going for more and more elephants. For all elephants, in fact. Not good enough. 
Yeah, just keep them in our back pocket. Well, these two warring factions, well, can't go on. Them. Any other disloyal ones? Them. They never. Just gotta get together with them. Yeah, get them to be a client state or another tributary. But, um, demand subject transfer? Not hard. Just never gone to war against us. Because we weren't against them directly. Three more areas, and then world events this way. Taking a level 3 fort in this very strong garrison is going to take a long time. I got stones even. Well, they are under siege, they'll be starved out. I think that might be the best option. Starve the populace out. Garrison won't defend much. We'll kick them out, and then we shall fight their fleet. And then during this course of the battle, maybe the Egyptian fleet will come support us. And the Bosper Navy and everyone else. Ah, but that's just to get my hopes up. Go for it. But that would be uh, some other areas we would take control. Copy. Uh, what's the name of our mega polarine? These are the octaries. Okay, we have to kind of. Just need to know the name. That's all. Even though they all have the same damn names. <laughs> Copy. That's that's what I mean. Port assault. Which what it'll do is basically fortified ports are no match for the m enormous mega polarines. Purpose built for breaking down seaside fortifications. So they'll lose a fortress. Thus making the siege easier. Mega Polyrim never got itself in action, so I think it's about time that it should. Yeah. Do it. Um, because that's against, uh, Topsa. We're going to answer. As soon as they land, then go for it. Oh, they are going for it. Well, we'll be careful, boys, because, um, Battle's about to start in two days, and you're not going to land by then. Oh, forget about that. Boarding tactics now. We know what they're up to. They're going for naval development. So they're on the move, and uh, they're not coming. This is just this one gamble that I wanted to have. Here we go again. But this time our army would be in danger. They're just going to be forced to stay on. Crap, they knew! Somehow they knew. Can't change it. What you went for. Maybe they know what we're up against. They can't land. Help us! Here comes our enforcement to make things worse. We have to get out of here. Out. Now. 
before you lose more. They captured four of our ships, captured seven of theirs, and one of them. Damn it! <laughs> Thought we had them. What's the opposite for harassment? Frontal assault. We're keeping our morale. Well, you're just gonna have to wait a little longer. Okay, we got all of Carthago's secondary ejector complete. Now, try to advance as much as you can. That includes this region. Uh, province. It's, it's gonna take a big chunk of Africa out of them. You know, since we lost four ships, we actually gained a few. <laughs> we made a good call to get out of here. We actually gained more than we lost more, when you think about it. But the Herali came, so we had to withdraw. Here comes First Army. These are just elephants. Get after them. You got to support them. Oh, you did see them. Gonna be more coming. Ah, it's just this one. Because of the economy, it falls. It's gonna take a while to get them all fixed. So we'll be out of action in a while. Looks like these guys are gonna duke it out alone. There's a lot of them out there waiting for us. Get in line. So we'll know when to engage. There's the nine. There's the eleven. But we have the numbers. Our manpower is plentiful. Remember, if we can, just take all this, and possibly the rest of this. Highly doubt this one, because of reasons. Remember. So we got less than two years then. That's fine. Right, point. Like. We got more, and they got mercenaries. Them again. How much money do these bastards have? Just use all your strength. They're not going to be ready until six months. Four months. Hold position. Stop force marching. All of you. What 
um, all together is not a, not always a good idea, but there's some dangerous mercenaries out there. Very well then. Stop the scare him out of there. We keep this. What the hell are you doing all the way over there? They've done well. Well, it's not in a good way. I wonder why they committed all their troops here. They know what we've done. Well, get your running sandals on, boy. Maybe low on supply, but we're not. Not yet, at least. We've got one more month, so get on board, because we need to relieve them. Where is their fleet? He's in Topsa. They're still there. Unclear. They got lots of heavy cavalry. Still unclear. Well, stay out of this thing. We'll be in Moon December. We'll drop you off at Carthage itself. Go, go, go. Column is uh, where I've been shipped creek for this. Until we get reinforcements where we'll be more of a match against them. Come on, get the board, hurry! So we can defeat these mercenaries before more reinforcements come. Which they're not far from it now. Thanks to the tributaries, we can track their movements. These Nomidians are like a recon. Good. Should be more of a match. Still unclear. Not exactly the same. Now we're bringing more elephants. These guys die hard. 
blasted mercenaries. Looks like they got a damn good mercenary captain in Zimri the Barca. He's reckless, but he's honest. Could attempt to buy him off and then later just, you know, get rid of him, but what good would that do? For killing them all. Plus, you're the one that's paying them. So, hope you're having buyer's remorse. Perhaps we may have to call for peace. Because there's just no way we can hold all these territories. Although we want to advance more to this. But I think it seems unrealistic at this point. I'll wrap it up. Talk soon. They don't have the best generals in, in this region, but I. One more major battle, and maybe we'll talk. Beat the heck out of these Iberians again. If we want control of that region also. But time's running out. Of course it's there. To be fair, we're not there yet. Wait until we're reinforced. Now we can get rid of them. And not force marching. They heard about the situation. It's going to take a long time for him to get his morale up. This is uh, part of the region, huh? Yes, sir. Stay here. You go here. Another goes. Hey! Another goes here. You go this way. Two things probably the same time. Not yet. Who the hell are they? Whatever it is, we need to get here. Avoid the pirates. How do they get separated from ours? Or did I inherit it from somebody? I did not notice that until now. Just thank you for bringing a lot of ships over here. Should we fight the Carthaginian fleet? What's going on? Oh no. 
Phrygia scored big again. Now they have access to the Egyptian war elephants. There are many things I would say about that, but we'll strike them back. And they've released some of the subjects. They released some areas away from Egypt, making them weaker. And they're still a great power, after all. Now they have the time and the manpower to deal with the rebels. But they got a lot of manpower. Okay, where we are at this point. 200 days. May have to drive these guys out of there. But wouldn't that be controlling the majority of the region? Shut up. Hang on. No elephants. We'll trade a little later. What's up with this sudden jump of the economy then? They pay big tribute. Nice. Don't forget the territory you control. One more. There you go. Okay, now let's talk peace. Got what we wanted. And then some. So. Sardinia was the main objective, and that includes the little area down there. Yes. So now, in addition, Cartago will be ours. And what's the area? Zilgentiana uh, will be under our control as well. To further hit him, because you got two more coastal cities and that little island there. Little island outpost. Okay, that's too high then. That's too high then. Well, perhaps. Just give me those two cities then. And that's this area and that area. Although it might be small and not good because of, uh, well, there's reasons. Um, starts with a K. Um, because of food shortage limitations. May hurt us in the long run. Now too high for our ally. Sotisio. Still too high. One moment. Uh, I don't usually do this. I don't know if it even counts. Better cost tennis. War score costs little. There you go. Now we're talking. Well, in this case, forget about those um, little uh, provinces that I mentioned. Alphabetical order. As soon as peace, um, as soon as we make that peace deal, we'll end the episode. Finally. Okay, never mind on these two. What do we get to hold province? If that's even possible. If not, then I will take what little is left there. No. That's way too high. But I really want to give it to some of the allies just to weaken their presence over Con uh, Carthaginian and Iberia. Okay. That settles it then. We're taking coastal areas. Just there.
Corbus Kakwane Set start to the T and so this is uh Parademos starts with an F Then uh, Pulzibiria, whatever the hell that is, starts with the U. Okay, now it's too high, too high. They don't want to lose that port. Well, that depends on the trade base. Of course, you wouldn't give up on the line. Yeah, it's too high, it's 100. You can't go any higher than that, regardless of war score. Okay, then. See, 98. You're asking for too much. Only because we simply switched our stance. So, that's the deal, then. Of how much territory we'll be getting off of them. All of Sardinia will be under our control. Yes. Carthage will fall to us. A little bit of this region. While our ally will like to get um, this region just to get the Carthaginian influence out of there. So that way they could stick it up against them. Just to make it look like this is going to be our new reliable ally, instead of a uh, Zivuzatea, which if clearly have lost it. So that's it then. There'll be no uh, subjects to be released because that's just a whole nother, you know, war score going up the, the, of this value of the demands of this very large conflict. So, they will stay together. Oh, by the way, Carthage merged uh, Topsa. Yeah, Topsa merged with Carthage, they integrated. How do you like that? Um, the wrong with the strong foot. So, it's a deal then. Let's put an end to this bloody, bloody war. While, uh, unfortunately, you know, Egypt is weakened. We couldn't contribute. So here it is. Conquest of Carthadon. That's the Greek name. The great city of Carthadon has finally fallen. Our troops are now in our hands. The city has long been a heart of Carthaginian culture and nation. Well known for its grand harbor. And long reaching trade relations. They bound together a trade empire stretching from Hispania in the west and all the way to the old Phoenician cities of the east. With the city are in our control, our men and advise how we should treat our old enemy. There were people asking us to sack the city to the ground and bring everything valuable back home to Tars. Well, we need the money. I'm sure we'll have a benevolent governor now. So, this is referred to this city? Oh no, Carcadon is Carthage. That's the Greek name of it. We'll get used to that. It's not Carthage, it's Carcadon. 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 Well, it is a metropolis. And we can't really hold that many people there. Not to mention, there's a lot of Punic people live there. And it becomes a city. 33% of the population will perish. And it's going to take 20 years. Should we really do it just like how the Romans did in history? I mean, 700 gold is good enough, but to gain a way more? I think we deserve that prize because... Well, we fought long and hard for this. Yeah, it'll make me less popular and a bit more corrupt. And this will be reduced to a city, no longer a metropolis. 
and uh, we're committing a, a massacre here. And we got to bring our boys back home. Oh dear. And, and for ten years we gained Carthaginian knowledge, fleet, morale, navy, so less attrition. So take everything of value. Banish those quests for the rest of the sword. Most importantly, Sardinia is ours. It's under our control. No need for all of these areas. I'll build uh, new fortresses, uh, two of them at least in Sardinia. One in the south, one in the north. We'll have those sorted out. <laughs> Look at all those gains we made. Look at the trade routes. There's no elephants here, is there? No. Well, where the heck do you get elephants from? Is it further south? No, down there. Damn it! Hey, keep the elephants, or we won't be able to reinforce them anymore unless you trade somebody for them. Because Carthage owns all of these, including Vagabas. That area. Everyone go home. We've really killed the heck out of these people. Some are going to be migrating in. Nobody's going away. Sooner or later. We could have um, sacked their, their holy sites, but I think there's no reason to do that. There's too much unrest at this point. And who's going to be the benevolent governor? Well, you do come from a scorned family. Screw it, it has to be you then. Into Italia, complete. Conquer Sardinia Morales, complete. But Sardinia Morales has to be governed by this man, but cannot complete it before. Favoritism and picking a side, so we have to well, get this. We must deal with the Romans soon. So that's what's going to be in our future. We still got a lot of good manpower, and our economy has greatly improved now that we have control of Sardinia. And despite the destruction of Cochedon, the economy is still good. But not so much here. Get some grain. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this episode. It's been a long and bloody war. And uh, don't worry about the Phrygian revolt. Soon we're going to send everybody home and uh, go after the Romans. Because they found their opportunity to expand, but they've let themselves weaken. That's where we're going to be going the next episode, to Rome. Until then, so long for now.